there guys what's going on this is Buster Tech you and today I'm bringing you guys this brand new tutorial I know I haven't made a tutorial in the while like month and yeah this is amazing as we as I today teach you on how you can make your very own channel icon or channel logo for a very own YouTube channel and I will teach you on something uh, I will teach you today to make something like this and this looks amazing and it's simple but decent but it's amazing and yeah so today I'll teach you on today I'll be teaching you on how you can make this text this background and this designs over here so let's begin so I recommend you guys to have Photoshop CC if you don't have that okay no problem you can even use Photoshop CS6 but I'll tell you on what is the problem when you use Photoshop CS6 for making this logo okay so for making a logo go to file the new in Photoshop okay and name your file like I will name it at browser tech and let the width be 500 by 500 pixels and let the resolution be 72 color mode be RGB and make the background contents to transparent and click on OK and once you're done with that this is the canvas you are going to work on and but before beginning make uh, make this layer 1 to background rename it okay so for better references this is just optional you can use whatever you want okay and with that uh, go over here and make the foreground color to black and then click on ok now go to this paint bucket tool uh, mainly it will be on gradient tool but you have to make it to paint bucket tool and apply that over here and once you're done with that make a new layer then go to filter and now this is the step which is only for Photoshop CC users uh, that is uh, go to render and then clouds this is not available this filter is not available on Photoshop CS6 but you can use such kind of cloud texture which are available on Google images you can just go ahead and download them once you have this texture over here go to this layer and go to this over here and make it to overlay and once you're done with that make this layer to something like uh, like reasonable stuff 45 that looks good right and once you're done with that make sure you go ahead and merge this both of this layer by selecting them by using shift and mouse click and control E to merge them and once you're done with that make a new layer now uh, it's the time to add some nice looking uh, brush strokes and to get these brush strokes different kind of new styles of brush strokes you can use uh, brush packs which are available on the internet I'm using a brush pack which is made by CISO HQ I will give a link to his video where, his, where he gives out this uh, kind of nice looking brush strokes you can use them for yourself and they're amazing so yeah go ahead and download them they're amazing so you can choose any of this brush I uh, see so have added you can use any of yourself you have one so you can use anything but I have this one so I will use this uh, nice looking abstract looking nice brush stroke now select the this layer and make sure your foreground color is white set on white and just set just stroke this over here like that like this um, you can stroke it like this but I recommend you to have like this uh, a little stroke don't push all of this like this that doesn't look good so yeah once you're done with that go ahead and make this to overlay and that looks good right and now decrease the opacity to something like 70 okay like that and go ahead and merge both of this layer by selecting both of them by using shift and click mouse click and control E to merge them and once you're done with that uh, now you can do is that control U on oh, for, oh, Adobe Photoshop CC to bring out U and saturation or you can even use uh, on Photoshop CS6 you can use Ad uh, control alt U okay so now click on this colorize button and uh, you can change the color of the background this is how the main point turns out and you can choose any of this color I will choose something like purple uh, like that like that that looks good and you can increase the saturation like that 
and uh, click on OK and once you're done with that now what to do is I go ahead to filter and select this layer go to blur then radial blur and make sure the blur method is set to zoom and quality is the best and now you can play around with this I would recommend you guys to go to 37 or 40 maybe like that uh, and then click on OK and this looks like that and that gives something like nice looking texture that doesn't focus that makes your lo logo look like that the whole thing doesn't focus on your background but also your text and this makes your text look good right and once you're done with that now we are done with the background now is the time to add the text you can use your initial of your channel like I have my channel's initial is like B I mean the first letter and like that uh, you can use it like this and make the text size a bit like that and like this that looks good like this and like this okay that looks good right and this will be like this but if you have but if you want to exaggerate your text more and you want to put all of your whole channel name if you have something like if you have you have a small name you can put it put it over here and that will make your text look good and once you're done with that I will just keep my initial over here and go to select this one and select this go to your move tool and then over here you see there are options of alignments and make sure you do this one that is align vertical centers and align horizontal centers and this will center your text properly once you're done with that that is yeah, as it is I will not any I will not add any effect onto this that that will make the text look ugly and doesn't stand out that much so yeah I will keep it to as it is as on white and yeah now go to now to make the designs we made over here uh, you have to do is that go to this pen tool and draw something like this uh, you can draw any designs you want and once you're done with that I have drawn a simple design make sure you are on the new layer make sure you are on a new layer and I have made the simple design and I will do is that I'll wait a minute I will just play around with this one okay like that and once you're done with the whole uh, with, the, with this part or design you can do is that go to this one and fill part and make sure to go to color and make this color to white and then click on ok once you're done with that this will fill the whole part and that looks good right and delete the part and that will look like this and we can now do is that uh, we can let this be as it is and like that and we can do is that duplicate this layer to make a recurring effect of the design so to do that uh, make sure you do this uh, select on this layer and control all make sure you hold control alt and using a mouse drag this like this and a new copy of this whole layer will be up and you can click on shift to have the aspect aspect position and once you have this control T and make this drag this like this and like that and make it like this and click on enter to save that and like this that looks good you can even put out something like uh, a octagon or something like that you can make any quadra quadra uh, I mean quadrilaterals uh, you can make any quadrilateral if you want like this I'm making uh, some random stuff I don't know what the heck I'm doing so yeah and I click on ok can do this like this whatever you want you can make something like that and make selection I'll click on the ok and click on delete and that looks good that doesn't stand out okay I know that but that's okay that happens okay so now what to do is that we'll merge both of this layer and by control E and one hour what we'll do is that control J to duplicate this layer and we'll do is that control T and selecting the new duplicated layer and once you have this control T right click on it and flip horizontal flip horizontally and flip vertically and once you're done with that you can make this uh, you can put it over here or you can just uh, make this like this and you can put it right over here if you want and that gives out something like a oh, message to your message like it looks good right and you can even do is that 
make sure you make this a bit big and you can do that like that whatever you want you can just play around with the design you can just tweak out with the design and make it look good so yeah I think that looks pretty much very decent if we zoom out of this and that looks good uh, I think that looks good definitely yeah so this is how you can make your very own look I think this was the very easiest way you can make one so now once you're done with this whole design kind of stuff go to file then save it as a JPEG file on your desktop and go and then go ahead and go to youtube.com and upload your very own logo so yeah that's it with this tutorial if you did enjoy this video be sure to drop a like that helps a lot let's see if we can hit 20 likes that would be amazing 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 yeah comment down below and let me know how this tutorial turned out for you and be sure to share this tutorial with your friends on facebook twitter google plus etc etc be sure to subscribe if you haven't yet and yeah guys thanks for watching bye bye and i will see you in my next video peace